what's up guys welcome to my new video today i'm going to teach you how to create this short intermission screen uh, you will have all the project files down in the description and yeah let's get started all right so the first thing we're going to do is go to file and new file uh, make the width 1920 and height 1080 so that's full hd and resolution put to 72. since the intermission screen was split in two parts one in lighter blue and one in darker blue we will do the same so let's just color pick this these colors so we have them here so it's easier to use okay uh, now let's split the screen of the background in two parts so let's say somewhere around here is good so this one this part was bri bright blue and the left part was darker blue so let's do that okay the next thing we should do is create the live chat square so here we see how it looks so take the rectangle tool and just drag it here center it center it on the right part Uh, make the corners a bit more rounder like this okay this is good we don't need the colors anymore we have them here so we'll just delete that next thing we're going to do is put the live chat title here but we need the orange color for that so take the rectangle tool again make it like this make it more rounded and put it in the center I think this is good then take your text tool and type live chat and color that in white I think on the final one the chat is in the darker blue I'm not mistaken yeah that's right you can use any font you want I used Montserrat all right so the next thing we have is the uh, the word chat on here so we're going to do that so take your text tool again and type in chat make it white uh, actually make it a darker blue color so a bit darker than the one we have and just position it over the chat frame and create a clipping mask but first rasterize the frame we need to rasterize the text as well so rasterize the text and create a clipping mask and that's it all right so in the final one we have the, an animating uh, orange line coming behind the text so we are going to do that as well create a rectangle tool make it orange mine is already orange so that's good and just angle it around 30 degrees stretch it and then rasterize the layer and cut it so the, it doesn't leave the blue border like this and later we will animate it to go behind the chat but we need that element now so we don't have to create it in after effects okay so the live chat part is done now we are going to do the left part where the short intermission title is the social media and the webcam or gameplay frame is whatever you will put in there so let's create the title first so short short intermission uh, we will need another shape rectangle tool behind this text and you can center it both together and place it under this and we will add a shadow under the intermission one so a darker color 
so it gives it kind of 3d effect and we can group it so it's easier to move and let's leave it somewhere around here i think we should make it a bit smaller yes all right the next thing we need to do is create a frame for the face cam so you're going to go on rectangle tool click once and type in the 1280 720 uh, size because that's the usual size for webcam frames position it somewhere in the center uh, remove the fill and add the stroke and make the stroke inside and make it around 10 pixels I think that's enough maybe a bit more let's say 15 pixels all right you can rasterize that layer and create one more so duplicate it by using ctrl j or command command j on mac and make it white uh, we will need that later in the animation part and the next thing we should do is create a social media banners we just need the icons and the text you can easily create i'm just going to drag these icons but you can find them on the internet easily all right we have the icons here now create the ellipse tool take the ellipse tool and create some circles orange circles behind them all right then take the text layers text tool and type in whatever you you'd like to have down there but i'll just keep it simple and say my twitter and actually that's instagram my bad my instagram then the username make it actually we'll color it a bit later let's just leave it like this then we need to create a shape like this one with the brighter blue color so take the rectangle tool drag it here make it as curved as you can on the edges drag it in the bottom now we can color the text in the darker blue one like this and also we can create a shape under the my instagram text that's orange so we make it a bit more visible when it's white it's a bit too blended so something like this is good and you can then just copy those texts and drag it next to each icon and of course change the text to the dedicated social media or whatever you have here You can group them so it's easier to move and center it in the bottom part uh, now we need to create the lines that will be animated later so you should use pen tool for the straight lines that are on the on the right angle so just place an an anchor point and hold shift and click it down and there you have a perfect uh, line on 45 degrees and just click right click stroke path and use the brush tool but you need to set the settings on the brush beforehand so just make the brush 5 pixels hardness 100% and put the color you'd like to have and just make a new layer for each line I will do this a bit quicker because it's really easy then make some orange ones all right uh, don't worry about them showing here we will mask that out in uh, after effects and yeah this is pretty much it so let's get right into after effects all right guys we are in after effects so the first thing you're going to do is import the psd we saved after we created it so import file after you click on the psd this window will pop up just leave it as editable layer styles and import kind composition 
then these two will show up just click on the composition psd and we have the psd inside here all right we'll make the composition 10 seconds so go composition composition settings and just put the time here mine is already set to 10 seconds so i'll just leave it like that the first thing we will animate is this orange line since it's the easiest so click on the background composition and find your orange line mine would be the first layer here uh, open this up click on this and then keyframe the position here and drag it to around five seconds and click the position frame again go to the first keyframe and drag the line down outside of the frame and it's already moving but now come to the second keyframe and drag the line outside the frame now it's passing through that's perfect and now make another keyframe at 10 seconds uh, and then drag it straight down so it returns next thing keyframe select all the keyframes and right click on one of them and click keyframe assistant and easy ease then go to the graph editor here you can see the keyframes in the graph editor and then you should do click on this keyframe drag this one here so it makes it go inside smooth like this and we will do the same for the second part and do it like this all right you can now leave the graph editor the next we can next thing we can do is animate the lines so i'm going to show you how to do one line and then you can copy paste that on all of the other lines so let's select one of the lines let's select one bigger one so you can see better all right here, here we have the blue one this darker blue one you will select the layer click on the pen tool and drag the pen tool over the line next thing go to effects and presets type stroke and drag the stroke effect on that layer now make the brush hardness and 100 and make the brush size bigger than the actual line so it covers the line we will animate then click this and click reveal original image now we have to play with the start and the end part so when you move those they reveal or remove the line so it depends on what uh, direction you want it to go you will use maybe start maybe end so go to effects here stroke and decide where you want to put the animation you can put it at start middle and etc so i will keyframe the end move it 30 frames right keyframe it again back to the first frame and then make the end at zero so it's completely disappeared there's no line and then when it goes to 100 it appears then at the second frame here we will make a new frame of the start and then move it 30 frames right and then make the start at 100 so it disappears the so it removes the line again and that's it you can all click all of them and easy ease them just to make them a bit smoother look at that beautiful and here you can repeat that for all of the lines let's do one more let's see which one we can do let's do let's do an orange one right right here so again first thing you need to do is click on the layer and click pen tool and drag the line of the pen tool over that then drag the stroke effect on the layer and decide where you want the animation to be so let's say it three three seconds make the start or the end keyframe make it again after 30 frames go 
back and make it so it disappeared. Alright, the next line we will animate is this orange one, so same thing, use pen tool and cover it, cover it with a line, drag the stroke effect on the layer, make the brush hardness at 100, brush size so it covers the original line and make it reveal an original image. Then click the start or the end, whatever you want, go 30 frames after, make keyframe again. Then first keyframe needs to make the line disappear like this and the second keyframe will show it and then we will do end one and end one after 30 frames again and make it disappear so it passes through and you can select them all again and just keyframe easy is all of them. You can do that for all of the lines now. After you animated the lines the next thing we can do is animate the webcam so we have two frames just like we made in photoshop then you will take a linear wipe effect transition and drag it on top of the white one then go to effect linear wipe and decide where you want the animation to happen so let's say here make the wipe angle 135 degrees or whichever you'd like maybe you want it to go horizontal vertical i don't know uh, and here you can see when you drag the transition competition it happens so we will make it disappear first click the transition competition and make it uh, and keyframe it then drag the keyframe here and make a new keyframe and transition competition put it at zero and now the animation happens all right now it's filled with the white white border now we have to make it disappear so the next thing is we're going to do is cut this layer and on the top layer we will delete all the keyframes and make the transition angle different and we will make the transition competition zero just where we left it and make a new keyframe after 30 frames and make the transition competition at 100 percent to make it leave so now we have it enter and leave all right that's perfect and that's basically it all right so this is how it should look now with all the lines in the background this line passing and this white one So now we need to fix this problem where it doesn't have the transparent background here so we can click on the background composition once and just use pen tool to mask it out so make a little mask around the face cam border Uh, now the problem is that it only masks the inside and not the outside so you can easily fix that by going here click on the mask and click on the subtract and now it's not showing the background and you can easily put a face cam or a gameplay under it and it will look really nice and stream all right so here is how the final product looks i will leave all the links in the description so you can download it play with it yourself maybe change colors and use it on your stream as well and thank you for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe and give me some more ideas in the comments on what video i should make next and see you guys in the next one